So first of all, I'm very relieved because James is going to be a speaker and not a president of a university. <laughs> Go directly there. <laughs> May I we, we thank you for your support. Without you, without this support, we won't be here today. We won't have been able to open this magnificent facility. So thank you, thank you very much. Also, I would like to thank the team at Northeastern who built this facility. I would like to recognize Payette and Suffolk Construction. Please give them a round of applause here. They worked during COVID nonstop, and that wasn't easy. And they did it because of the dedication that they showed, not only to this university, but also to the people who were building it, to the union workers who needed the support, who needed the money. You have been magnificent, and we thank you for that. Please join me in thanking them individually, because they are going to take you on a tour afterwards. The governor is an alum, she's an alumna, and we like her support very much. We like what she is doing, and we like also the fact that she believes in the community and in the Commonwealth. And she is demonstrating that to us on a daily basis. We are very fortunate to have a great a great mayor, and a great governor. The, our senators, incidentally, Senator Mar Markey disappeared because he had something that, you know, he, very urgent that he had to attend to. But our senators have been great supporters, not only of Northeastern, but as you heard of science and the importance of science. If you doubt education, you cannot afford to doubt science. Because without science, without engineering, we will not be the premier economy in the world when it comes to sustainability, or when it comes to security, or when it comes to health. And Dr. Punch, you know that more than anyone. Thank you for your support, and keep it coming. <laughs> keep it coming, thank you, thank you. Our Congress representatives have been superb partners. They even, like Congressman McGovern, took us to Cuba, when Cuba was still open. And he did it for a simple reason. He wanted us to be engaged and help Cuba, because he is looking at the post-communist period. And he said, we need to start the relationships and the partnerships today. And we had co-op students there. We had two research partnerships focusing on neglected diseases and also on sustainability. We thank you for your support. And thank you for being a great, a great Husky. We, we are, from now on, we call you an honorary Husky. Thank you. Rich and Chris have been great partners, and thank you for all your support, for everything you have done to make this a reality. Without getting you into all the details of what happens in academia, you, you know, in order to build a building like that, the trustees have to essentially believe that it is a priority. And you believe that this is a priority and you made it happen. I also would like to thank our speakers who are here today, both alums, and I would like, the Governor Healy was supposed to, uh, to ask all the speakers and the alums who are in public service to stand and be recognized. She didn't do it, she forgot. Her script was not done well by my team. So I'm going to ask you to stand and be recognized, all the Northeastern alums, please.
And I, finally, I would like to thank also our team, the senior team and the deans and the vice presidents uh, and the vice provosts of this institution because they are the ones who made it happen, not me. Presidents take the credit, but they are the ones who made it happen. Please give them a round of applause. <laughs> when you are the last to speak, essentially you thank everybody and you go home. But before doing that, I want to say that we are extremely honored to have you here today. But also, we are humbled because this building, as you heard, is not an end by itself. And what is success? Success is going to be quantified by the impact that we have with our community, on our community, the impact that we have on the city, the impact we have on the Commonwealth and on the nation. And this impact is not going to be decided by Northeastern. It's going to be decided by the priorities and unfortunately the crisis that we are going to face constantly. So we are here today not to celebrate a building, but to celebrate a commitment for a better world. And this is something that will endure for many, many generations to come. So thank you all for being here today. Thank you.